Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to sink. Why is it so difficult? Right, how to sink. So I think this is one of the most important and most discussed subjects for divers and not only for new divers but also for seasoned divers too. Whenever I've guided groups of divers under the water, descending at the start of the dive there was always difficulty for at least one person. Usually the answer would always be to add extra weight um, and yes generally sometimes you do need extra weight but most of the time the diver wasn't following basic principles that would have helped them to sink. So what can help you to sink? Breathing out. It's really as simple as that. You just need to breathe out. But when I say breathe out, I mean you need to breathe out. Your aim is to remove as much air from your lungs as possible. Think about it like this. When sinking, what do you do first? You deflate your BCD, your buoyancy control device. You are trying to remove most of the air from your BCD in order to sink. Think about your lungs like a BCD. They are a buoyancy control device when we go diving. They're not just for breathing anymore. They're also used to control your movement in the water. When you're inhaling and exhaling, it has the same effect as inflating and deflating your BCD. You need to remove air from both devices, your BCD and your lungs, in order to sink. Position. When we begin our descent, the best position to be in is in a vertical one. We do not sink in a horizontal position. First, because it would make it extremely difficult to remove the air from your BCD. Second, we would be displacing a lot more water than if we were vertical. Just remember, the more water you displace, the more buoyant you're going to be. Archimedes principle. So when I say vertical, you want to be slightly inclined so that your feet are behind you and the weight of your cylinder is pushing you forward slightly. It will also get you into a natural position so when you are descending, when you get about a head's width away from the surface, you can start to lean forward. And then what happens then is your cylinder, the weight of the cylinder, will push you down. Okay, we want to like basically, when we're descending, we want to free fall into the water. Slowly get into a horizontal position as though we're free falling. Like what you see when someone's skydiving. If you descend in a central vertical position, what will happen as you start to descend, the weight of your cylinder will push you back. That in effect will then make your feet go in front of you and you'll descend backwards. And if you get into that position as you're descending, you're gonna lose control. So just by having your cylinder slightly pushing you forward and having your legs behind you will give you greater control as you're descending. Be still. Kicking at the surface is just going to keep you at the surface. Before you start your descent, be aware of what your legs are doing. So when we get into water, our brain will subconsciously send information to our legs to start kicking because it wants us to stay afloat at the surface. So we have to override this information. And the first way to do that is just to be aware of what your body is doing. What are your legs doing? The amount of times that I see divers kicking and they're trying to descend, but they're not aware of it. Being still will also create less resistance. It will also mean that you're not exhausting yourself at the surface because your body will not have been using up precious oxygen to fuel your moving legs. Back kick. Right, this one's not essential, but it can give you a boost if you're having difficulty whilst descending. Back kicking, or reverse kicking as it's also known, is a finning technique that allows you to swim backwards. But what you can do, if you're at the surface, you can switch this into a vertical position. The back kick will propel the water past you, which in turn will also propel you down. The beautiful thing about this finning technique is you don't need scuba equipment to practice. All you need is water and fins. Uh, and you can practice all types of finning techniques. You can also practice the back kick at the surface. If you learn anything new this year, learn to back kick. I've conveniently made a short video detailing how to complete this finning technique, which you can find here. If not, you'll find it in the description as a link below. Let me know in the comments below what helps you to sink, or if you have any questions. I'll see you next time, buddies.